while hearing a batch of pleas against bulldozer actions. The Supreme Court of India passed an interim order that no demolition should take place in the country without its permission. The court clarified that this order will not be applicable to encroachments on public roads, footpaths, railway lines and water bodies. A bench of Justices B.R. Gawai and K.V. Vishwanathan passed this direction in a petition challenging the alleged actions of various state governments demolishing the buildings of persons accused of crimes as a punitive measure. The court posted the matters for the next hearing on the 1st of October. We have my colleague Ashok Bagaria now joining us in the studio for more. Uh, Ashok, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us. Uh, help us understand what exactly does this order by the Supreme Court of India mean? Well, the Supreme Court order is pretty sweeping in the sense that the Supreme Court has said that nowhere in the country and by no state government in the country there shall be a thing called bulldozer justice. Now what, what has been happening in the recent past is that there are many state governments including the Uttar Pradesh government, Madhya Pradesh government, Rajasthan government against whom allegations have been made that there have been instances where the state government and the municipal authorities have gone and demolished homes of people whose family members are allegedly involved in some offence. The second thing that has been happening is that there is a particular community who has been targeted, which has been targeted by this bulldozer action. So today the Supreme Court has said that, look, we are going to lay down guidelines for all state governments across the country as far as demolition of unauthorized construction is concerned. And especially when things like this bulldozer justice comes into play. There cannot be instances where the municipal authorities on their own whims and fancies throws all the relevant laws of the country to the wind and demolishes homes of people whose family members are associated or alleged to have committed an offence. In fact, uh, the Supreme Court also said that the whole idea of bulldozer justice and bulldozer action is against the constitutional ethos because the constitution gives every individual, even if he's alleged to have committed an offence, to have a right of rebuttal of the allegation made by the municipal authority or the state government. So the Supreme Court has taken a strong position and said for that for the next 15 days, that is till October 1st, when the Supreme Court is to rehear the matter, no state government in the country will carry out any bulldozer action, but at the same time put in a rider says that as far as unauthorized constructions are concerned on public roads, public pathways, footpaths, water bodies are concerned, the demolitions can be carried out in accordance with law. Right. Uh, and But at the end of the day, this order does come with a particular condition. It doesn't include uh, things like encroachments on land or water, you know, encroachments on public roads, footpaths or even railway lines. Yes. In fact, uh, uh, as far as the position of law is concerned, it's very clear that if there is an unauthorized encroachment on government lands, especially on footpaths, uh, public properties which are owned by the government, the encroachments can be removed. But what we have been witnessing in demolition cases is that there have been people who have been living for decades on a particular piece of land and they have constructed a house and suddenly what is being what has been witnessed in the last few years is that the municipal authorities and the state government authorities suddenly come at the doorsteps when one of the members of the family is involved to be uh, is alleged to be involved in a criminal offense and the house is demolished in fact recently last week a person had come to the Supreme Court of India from Gujarat saying that there was a constant threat by the Nagar Palika, the municipal corporation 
and the state government authorities that his house will be demolished and he went on to show to the court that this was a house which he had lived in for generations and just because one of the family members was involved in a crime, the uh, municipal authorities were threatening to demolish it. The Supreme Court then also protected the demolition. Once again, the Supreme Court has reiterated its position, saying that as far as demolitions are concerned, a due chance has to be given to the person whose house is proposed to be demolished. The process of law has to be followed. They have to be given a chance to agitate the issue before the courts. Just unilateral action by the municipal authorities cannot be tolerated. Okay. Uh, just one more thing I want to ask you. There is the next hearing that is scheduled for on this matter on the 1st of October. Uh, tell us, you know, what is what can one expect from that hearing? Well, the court has made it clear that on the 1st of October, when this matter is called out for hearing again, they will be drawing certain guidelines for all the state governments and um, state authorities to follow as far as bulldozer action is concerned. The Supreme Court has clearly said that this whole way of meeting out justice where the executive is the judge in its own case cannot take place and that is exactly the reason why the court is saying that we are going to lay down guidelines for the state governments where as far as demolition of properties are concerned and these guidelines will be laid down by the Supreme Court as they did in the case of Vishakha versus State of Rajasthan case as far as uh, sexual harassment at workplace was concerned. But there was a lacuna in the law at that point in time. The Supreme Court intervenes, lays down guidelines. And this is an identical situation where the court believes that there is a lacuna they need to fill in and guidelines have to be laid down for state government. Now, the Samajwadi Party's chief, uh, Akhilesh Yadav, reacted to the Supreme Court's order, which said that bulldozer cannot be justice. It was unconstitutional and it was meant to scare people. He said that the bulldozer was meant to deliberately suppress the voice of the opposition. And Akhilesh Yadav thanked the Supreme Court for this order. Bulldozer can't be justice. Bulldozer was unconstitutional. Tha. बुलडोजर लोगों को डराने के लिए था बुलडोजर जानबूझ करके विपक्ष की आवाज को दबाने के लिए था मैं धन्यवाद और बधाई दूंगा सुप्रीम कोर्ट के इस फैसले को जिसने बुलडोजर को रोकने का काम किया है मुख्यमंत्री जी और खासकर उत्तर प्रदेश की सरकार और बीजेपी के लोग इस बुलडोजर को इतना महिमा मंडल कर रहे थे कि बुलडोजर ही न्याय हो गया है और इनके तमाम कार्यक्रमों में इनकी रैलियों में इस बात को ये इतना बढ़ा चढ़ा करके लेकर के आते थे जिससे लोगों के अंदर भय पैदा कर सकें अब जब सुप्रीम कोर्ट का फैसला आ गया है मैं सोचता हूँ बोलो जो रुकेगा और न्यायालय से न्याय मिलेगा